Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, of course, President Obama is going to stop class warfare. But of course, right after that, he says that they can pay their full share. Oh yes, because what? They benefited... Unjustly. Unjustly. Yes, that's the word. They benefited unjustly. So stop class action warfare, but they need to pay their full share. How does that work? Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines out today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you would think so. Okay. The Republicans said that they were not going to let the gun control legislation go through unless changes were made. It. Sixteen Republicans joined the Democrats today to screw the people on the Second Amendment of this country. And they, you don't think that... Um, uh, what was it? One of the, the leader of the Senate said, I mean, McConnell said, we'll remember all of I mean, He called them, you sons of bitches. And, and Obama spends over $400,000 to throw a party for Michelle and him at the White House. I know. But it was made available, though, to anybody that wanted, anybody that had an internet connection could see the taped copy and not have to pay for it. The problem was, <laughs> the uh, it, it was done for uh, it was done for public broadcasting, paid for by public broadcasting, and paid which is paid for by the federal government, which means the taxpayers paid for a party for Obama. And they uh, pointed out, they said that uh, they basically Justin Timberlake got somewhat pissed when they said that you realize that the cost of this party could have kept the White House tours open for those children you're supposed to be holding a charity for, mm -hmm. for three months. And he mm -hmm. said, well, that uh, sometimes you have to do things for the greater whole. Uh, greater." And see, he's just the same a-hole as all the other Democrats. <laughs> he, got, he didn't do it for nothing. He got paid to come there perform. He's, he's Who, so, Justin Timberlake? Yeah, all these guys have these children's charities. Yeah. And every single one of them said, F you to every child in the country that doesn't get to go to the White House. I mean, Timberlake could have said, well, okay, I'm going to give my money to keep the White House tour open for a week. Wouldn't do it. None of them would do it. They, have, they pressed them all about it. They don't even want to talk about it because, well, that's our money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And downside to legalizing gay marriage. Okay, the problem is, is they got to start paying the taxes they didn't pay before. Remember, if you're married, the government screws you. You actually pay more in taxes. That's they right. They forgot that part. Yeah, here's something. They said, uh, here's one morning. How long is Bill Riley going to be over at Fox News? It's not likely much longer because basically that everybody that's connected to Fox News that basically is, um, uh, in, is their independents or conservatives are basically starting to leave Fox News because they've now, Bill O'Reilly is now leading the charge for gay marriage. Mm -hmm. He's basically, we need to overturn the Marriage Act. Uh, uh, you know, they, here's one too, they, you know, this is what one of the comics said about, he said, well, oh, he didn't know that he was gay until this past month. Mm -hmm. Because he all of a sudden, he, uh, all of his, you know, he's a Roman Catholic and now thinks that the church is on the wrong side of the issue and that people that don't support gay marriage are Bible thumpers. Mm -hmm. So that tends to make you believe that, you know, uh, the people that strongly support gay marriage are either left-wing liberals, which he's not, or they tend to be a little bit gay, which unfortunately they're starting to insinuate he is. And Rutgers fires coach after release of video. Oh, that's ridiculous. They had, uh, okay, political correctness. They're being sued by one of the students now on the basketball team because his feelings were hurt by the coach. But I, uh, I can guarantee you, when I was playing baseball, I had baseballs thrown at me. When I was playing football, coaches would, you! and boom, the back of the helmet to get your attention. And they basically, put it this way, in my era, they didn't wear suits to baseball games or football games or basketball games. They came in workout clothes and, uh, you know, they, they, they did not talk nicely to any of their players because you can get off him. Uh, Newt Rockney did not talk nice to his football player. He, his pep talks were not exactly the Pat O'Brien part. It was, you know, get out there and kick the sun, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And movie suffers disastrous loss at the box office. Well, yeah, um, the, it, it, okay, the box office is really dying. It's just, it's a, what it is, they've got, when the, when, it, when the big movies hit, uh, okay, what it is is that everybody is still after Oz. Oz is still holds the spot as the biggest grossing movie for this year. But the other movies that they thought were going to be big all tanked. I mean, like spend two hundred and ten million dollars on a movie and make thirty million dollars. Out. Yeah. And meet North Korea's new Kim, same as old Kim's. Well, yeah, because they said that he has to. 
I'm going to keep repeating this until somebody actually listens. It is the tradition of, of North Korea that when a new leader takes over, he has to prove himself in combat. They do not care if they lose. Okay, the new leaders have lost every war for the last six or seven hundred years. They fought. <laughs> but they still have to, it's, a, it's got to do as if you're not able to fight for your country, then we'll put somebody in that, remember his brother is a general. Mm -hmm. And he basically was he, he was picked to be the head of the government by his father because he went to co he has a Western education and only looked like he's a complete idiot. Mm -hmm. He is smarter than they give him credit for. He's basically playing the, the fool right down the line. And Iran's nuclear program entails huge costs and few benefits report. That's what the Obama administration is saying. There's no uh, other than the fact that when they build their first me first nuclear weapon, they then they then control the Muslim world. That's, that's no benefit, is it? Mm -hmm. And the cost, let's see, they uh, basically, uh, okay, well, it's going to cost another billion dollars more than we were to figure. Oh, price of oil is going to have to go up by two billion. Mm -hmm. There's no cost to them. They charge, they're charging countries that are doing business with Iran to build the nuclear weapons that they're going to blackmail the countries with. And NRA funded panel or just train armed guards at schools. That's... Uh, that would seem sensible. Democrats don't agree with it. Democrats think that uh, we, if we remove all guns, but uh, this morning, they, once again, they passed the gun legislation, the, the preliminary thing to go into the debate now, with no requirements that people with mental illnesses have to, cannot get guns. Mm -hmm. There's no requirement because you cannot do a background. Okay, uh, a person can be a mass murderer, and if he has a mental illness, it was wrote off to being mental ill, you'll never have it listed on a book that he killed 150 people with a machine gun. You know, basically he had a Browning automatic rifle and he killed everybody in an auditorium, but it was, he was found mentally not capable of understanding it, what he was doing. And he can go buy a new Browning automatic because that will, it will not show up that he ever did any harm with the weapon because he was mentally ill. Stockton and San Bernardino, a tell of two bankruptcies. Uh, yeah, the San, basically, uh, Neither one has any money, but one doesn't have the union problems, the other does. That's the difference. It's the union contracts that are driving the city bankrupt, not the lack of revenue coming in. And North Korea, Reading Marathon, not Armageddon. Um, okay, the, uh, you can tell that the Obama administration doesn't think that anything is going to happen. Totally do not think that anything's going to happen. So they're laughing at it. Well, we're going to cut military spending because there's no reason to spend this much money because they're a joke. Well, the joke has nuclear weapons, and if the joke fires one of those into Japan, they start World War III because they will fire back, and the odds of the radiation drifting over into China are very high. And if it goes to China, China's going to fire their nuclear weapons in retaliation. I mean, they don't seem to understand this. Okay. It's called Mutually Assured Destruction, MAD. And the ba MAD is back on the books again because the Obama administration doesn't pay any attention to it. North Korea writing marathon, not Armageddon. I know she liked that. Oh. Well, funny. man slices arms with saws at California Home Depot. I know. They, they basically, oh. they, they made his blood everywhere in the place. They, don't, they used a power saw to cut his arms open. Why? Because, uh, I guess because they said that he wasn't insane and couldn't get, uh, he couldn't get a gun because he wasn't insane. Are now you? they'll declare him insane, so now he can go buy any weapon he wants. What, well, say no, that that's what, okay, that's that's what one of the people said. They said they know the Democrats will allow an insane person to have a weapon. Would a sane person cut his arms in a, uh, in a store? Oh my God. So now the guy, they said, well, now he's perfectly legal to go buy any type of weapon he wants, any automatic, anything. So. And they wouldn't let him get it before? That's what oh, that is crazy. That, that's, yeah, isn't that great? Um, now that's crazy. Obama and former presidents to attend George, Bush, George W. Bush's library dedication. Yeah, well, because they know that he's dying. It's a whole problem. It's just, it's not a matter of if, it's when, because he's now. Uh, he has moments when he doesn't n know where in the world he's at now. It's not all time. Okay, what my grandmother said, what people, that basically it used to be referred to as old age. Everyone, everyone handles old age differently. If you're an athlete and tend to get hurt a lot, you tend to handle old age badly. If you're, you're young, if you were healthy your entire life, you basically, you know, like 80, 90 year old people. I got a gruesome one for you today, folks. They said, I love this on t on the, on on television today, they're saying, well, you all know people that have lived until their 80s, and you know that uh, that 
shortly thereafter, they don't have much longer left and that we need to take care of those people. Hey, folks, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> and a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay, I got this one. I love this one. That uh, You know that uh, when you save the material on your computer and it doesn't actually save, they now refer to that as the monster ate your work. <laughs>